Send you guys love and light. Thank you for everyone that's like, share, subscribe if you guys have purchased a reading. If you've donated to my page, I appreciate you. It says you can be masculine or feminine, so you guys need to place it on whatever side you need it on, okay? Okay. So, Taurus, Spirit is trying to pull you toward your life purpose, okay? As above, so below, okay? Um, I'm feeling resistance, though. I'm feeling like, you know, the spiritual path for some of you is not where you're at. But Spirit is trying to get you back on that path. Okay, you may not have had things the way that you need them to be, but spirit wants you to be on this path. Okay, spirit wants you to be away from a passionate path. Okay, and I'm not saying that not be passionate about, you know, growth or um, business or something of that nature, but spirit is saying that you guys got too much emphasis on uh, sexual natures um, at this time, other than you trying to focus on the spiritual path that, that Spirit wants you to be on. Um, I'm telling you, this energy this week is crazy. Um, it really is. Um, Spirit is wanting you. Okay, here we go. Spirit is wanting you to not focus on what I'm about to tell you. I'm so wet for you. Pull over. Sex me in the car. Some of you are having sex in the car. Okay? Some of you is out here just telling people that you, you know, you want to be dicked down for, for the women. Uh, men, if that's you, okay, so be it. You, you know, you choose whatever side you're on. But someone here is liking oral pleasures, right? Wanting to uh, get the salads tossed, all types of shit. Spirit is saying this is not what you're supposed to be focused on right now. Mm. I do understand you're having fun, though. <laughs> no judgment here. The, the dirtier you talk to me, the harder I come. Laying on the bed thinking about you, okay? So someone's thinking about you right now. There's something about that first thrust. Oh, okay. Yeah, someone is thinking about someone hard and heavy right now. But we got to talk about this, guys. A lot of sexual energy here. It's hindering someone from going down the path the spirit wants you to be on. Some of you could be dealing with a fire sign. I have fire in your chart. And this is the reason why it's so hard because that fire energy, whoever this is that you're with or around or that you're attached to may do things for you a certain way to where you can't really function correctly. You can't really do the things that you uh, should be doing because you, you too focused or too uh, codependent on this energy. I think that's what I'm feeling. I'm feeling a codependency here. I'm feeling like you're attached to someone here. Um, and it's not healthy attachment. Give me one minute. Let me just grab another set of cards. Because Spirit will give me what I'm trying, trying to, sh to tell you about here. Overwhelmed with passion, passionate energy, but neglecting spiritual path. What is this spirit? Just let him fall, please. Thank you. Okay, okay. I have someone here that's very vengeful and they're using sex to hold on to someone. This is that energy I'm feeling. Someone here may be creating situations to where they feel like someone's going to stay dependent on them and this energy. 
Someone can have a child with a person too and they're trying to trap their child's mother or child's father in a situation on a sexual, spirit is saying addiction, okay? It could be someone addicted to sex here or two people that's addicted to sex here. Someone's proven, there it is. Someone's trying to prevent someone from walking away from them. So they feel like the juicier the bedroom is, the more that this person will want to stay. Uh -uh. This has been over some, quite some time ago. Someone is doing everything in their power to hold on to someone sexually. This is not what you're supposed to be doing. This is fucking pitiful. Pitiful. This is why someone's neglecting their spiritual path. Spir their spiritual path. Someone's being pulled towards the light and they don't want to be. Someone's being pulled towards the dark side. The more and more um, they have a problem with the person that they're with or the more the person that they're with wants to leave them, they get more and more vengeful. Sexual juju is what I'm looking at, y'all. There's someone that's attached to a person here that thinks about having sex with this person down to the to to actually entering a person's body. This is an obsession for someone. But this is a part of that sexual juju, right? Someone wants to walk away from someone and they may be adamant about walking away, but someone is doing everything in their power to stop someone from going away from them. What is this spirit? Okay, let him fall. Okay. All right. Spirit said, let him fall. All right. Or let him turn over. We have Knight of Cups. So we have Aquarius or Pisces. Someone that's romantic. Someone that does romantic things. Someone likes to take action. Someone uh, may be dating other people. May like a lot of affection. Right, someone may be wanting gifts or bringing gifts, but this person uh, may be shallow as hell. So there's nothing really to offer, but maybe a sexual trisk for someone here. Right, but there's an emotional connection, and I think this is toxic, guys. Oh. This could be a, a karmic soulmate situation here. This is absolutely a person from someone's past, meaning they've had a past life with this person. And that's why that passion is so deep. That's why the connection was so deep. And this is why, you know, it's playing out the way it, it, it's playing out. And this is because this is karmic. Yeah, see? Uh, three swords. Whoever this is, couple cannot communicate properly. There's total communication breakdown. But they be fucking their asses off. Or they be inviting people into their bedroom. This is betrayal. This is separation. This is unhappiness. This is grief. This is a lot of trauma, tears with this but this is someone that's vengeful enough to do anything that they need to do to keep somebody with them right someone's heart is broken because they don't fucking want to be in here anymore they don't want to be in here anymore okay taurus if this is not you needing to focus on your life purpose this is your person but passion is overwhelming someone and it's overtaking them in a sense to where they cannot focus on what the hell they need to focus on we have three of cups in reverse Someone is not able to focus on the shit they need to focus on. This is overindulgence. This is being fucking drunk as hell. Short-term drunkenness. This is infidelity. This is sabotage, right? This is um, 
people out here asking women for you men to have mis uh, to have terminations of pregnancy, stuff of that nature, because somebody done fucked up. Somebody out here doing dirt. This is a woman that could have had a termination of a pregnancy and this could have broke someone's heart. Oh, I hate this energy. There's a lot of seducting, uh, should, uh, seduction here. I can't even talk. What else is this, Spirit? Three of Cups in reverse is Cancer energy, I believe. Someone could have Cancer in their chart. Three of Swords is Libra energy. Two of Cups is also Cancer. Knight of Cups is Aquarius, Pisces. Okay, Knight of Pentacles. I have Knight of Pentacles energy here. I have how many Knights? I have two different Knights. So someone here may want to give um, time, affection to someone. They may do this, okay? They may share this with someone that they have a bond with or they may want to. But when it comes to the Knight of Pentacles energy, this is someone, Leo or Virgo, that's hardworking, patient, that's loyal, that's responsible, right? This person may be trustworthy. This may be a person that someone is thinking about. This person may be good marriage material, but someone walked away from this person. Okay. All right. Let's break this down. So, someone here in this union is focused on sexual activity to the point where it consumes them okay somebody can have a child with someone they're doing whatever they need to do to keep this person that they have a child with binding to a union they have to be vengeful they have to do whatever to me this is someone that's going to do anything they need to do right someone feels pitiful because they feel like they're not going to be able to get the hell out of this situation and someone um, is being looked at as pitiful because they're doing whatever they need to do to uh, stop someone from moving forward away from them, meaning they're being very vindictive, very controlling uh, to the point where this is like sexual juju, all types of bullshit here that's trying to bind a person and stop them from walking away. Now, someone has another person on their mind where they feel like this person is marriage material, but they may not be able to get to that person. This is breaking someone's heart. Right. Because they're stuck in a loop of infidelity and b bullshit. This person may be drinking too much. They may be doing the most right now. Because they're very unhappy. Their heart is broken because they're not with somebody they want to be with. Ah, There we go. We got walking away twice. Somebody could have walked away from someone that they felt was good marriage material. They felt like this they could have a good financial uh, life with this person. This person was good. This person was loyal, trustworthy. They may have been stuck in something else with someone else that will not let them go. And this is some sort of nightmare for someone. Eight of Cups energy. Someone wants to leave a relationship that is not good, but they, they can't seem to get away. They keep getting stuck in, in a situation with a person, right? And they're disappointed because they don't know how to move forward. Their heart is broke because they don't know if they're going to be able to get away. Give me one more card, please, Spirit. Yeah, King of Swords. Spirit is saying that you need to stand up for yourself. You need to do what you need to do, right? Capricorn Aquarius, right? be the authority 
take back your power from this person. Do what you need to do, okay? Um, communicate what you need to communicate in a logical way to a person. Uh, command the respect that you need to command, right? Call law enforcement if this person is, is, is threatening you or doing any types of things that they shouldn't be doing, right? Get someone involved so that you can get help. If this is something that you want to get out of, utilize the energies around you to do so. Someone may be moving methodical right now to try and detach themselves from this situation. Someone's going to need to because someone is on top of this with this energy and try to bind someone. Like I said, this could be to keep a codependent. Look at the I cannot make this up bottom of the deck. This is an obsession with someone. This is someone that's some toxic on some toxic bullshit. And this is preventing someone from going towards what they need to go towards in their life. The light. Okay. Stopping someone's free will or feeling like you need to do whatever to, to keep someone binded to you or keep them in a situation that can only have bad repercussions down the line okay because you're taking someone's free will you're not allowing them to be who they want to be and make their own life choices and decisions and you're stopping them from learning the lessons that they need to learn the universe is not going to be um, nice to whoever is doing this to the other person okay anyway i'm leaving it here i'm sending you guys love and light y'all take care